So here's a very simple and basic uh, wearable tech prototype. Uh, I call it the hat ear. This is the first test and it's going not so bad. So there's six electric microphones wired into those little air vents in the cap so that they can hear outside and six lights. And the lights all correspond to certain microphones. So these two represent the front two, these two represent the outer two left and right, and these two represent the back two. And if you snap your fingers over here, you can see the backs are going. And then if I flip it up a bit so I can get at the front ones, you can see it's, it's, uh, represent, the, the lights will give you an indication as to where the sound is coming from. So it's, it doesn't work very well until your head's in there because the sound waves will pass right through kind of. But once you get your head in there, it acts as enough of a soundproofing that they work quite a bit better. Um, I've tried putting it on my head and getting a shot of it. It's just too tight an angle in here for me to get the camera in it, so I can't see what I'm seeing. Uh, I originally thought about trying to do a circle, but the lid just provided so little vertical space that I decided to go along the perimeter here and put it right in my peripheral vision. Um, this one probably should, should be a little bit further out. Uh, right now it's, it's kind of funny because my, uh, th from the, the different perspective from the two eyes will actually place, this eye will see this light in the same place that this eye sees this light. So it ends up being a little, or sorry, vice versa, anyways. Uh, so it ends up being a little hard to see actually, but it's still, it's still noticeable because this one shows up as this kind of bigger blur in your peripheral vision that feels like it's on top of your vision, kind of. Whereas this one, you can actually see the bulb itself. This one, it feels more like a blur coming out of the back of your sight. Uh, but I mean, that design can just be played with until you find a nice way to be able to, to sense the information. And then right now, the prototype's still in beta, so it's just uh, wired up to the Arduino Nano here and uh, a USB power supply. But uh, it works quite well. And... Uh, yeah, I recommend it. It's a lot of fun, and I'm going to see if I can take it a little further. Uh, it would probably be a lot better with some amps. Uh, right now, the the signals, I'm just barely reading amplitude. And then, of course, the display. These could be RGBs, and you could break, uh, and if you were analyzing frequencies, you could have, like, high, mid, and low frequencies represented by the various colors. So you could actually see more than just the amplitude that I'm seeing right here. And uh, I kind of want to smooth these out. They still blink a little hard. I want them to fade in more and I eliminate a little bit of noise if I can. Uh, ideally, this would be a, a bunch of a, mic a proper microphone array. I'm just reading them as six analog inputs. A proper microphone array should be able to uh, read the directionality of the sound a lot better than what I'm doing right now. But uh, the goal is to do it with a simple, cheap MCU.